What's up everybody, BD Packs, and today we have another brand new community collection episode. In this episode, we're gonna recap quickly what we got last time in the last episode, and then we're gonna go over to our local card shop and try to get more stuff. And then finally, we're gonna open all the stuff we got today and see what we're adding to our collection. Now remember, there's a Discord link in the description below where you guys can join our community Discord and you guys can have a say on what we sell, hold, grade, whatever, as well as you guys can leave a comment down below in these videos or reach out to me on Instagram, whichever way works best for you. Be a part of this community collection. Let's grow and see how far we can go together. Now today I have this stack of cards that's part of our collection. And to recap, in our last video, we pulled a rookie of the year, Justin Herbert, which you guys have elected to hold. Uh, Kate Bishop, Marvel, from 2020 Marvel Ages, which you guys have elected to sell. A rookie roll car, Xavier Tillman, from NBA Certified, which you guys have elected to hold as well. A Joe Burrow Prism, which value went from $60 to $100 in the last two weeks, which is amazing. You guys have elected to hold, so we're going to hold this on at least for another couple weeks. A Cal Castus, yeah, Cal Hestus, actually, uh, auto from Star Wars uh, Signature Series from 2020. You guys have elected to sell this. And then lastly, an RJ Barrett Noir uh, out of 99. We're all on the fence on this, so we're going to go take this to the local car shop. If we have an offer on it, we will sell, trade, and use that money to get more packs and more cards for us to open for this series. So I'm really excited about that. And with that being said, let's go ahead and let's head out to our local card shop. All right, and we are back from going to my local card shop. And a couple things happened along the way, which I'm super excited about. So I actually did stop at Walmart and I got super lucky and I caught a restock. So we did get this hanger prison box from 2020, 2021. So this, we got our retail, which is super, super exciting. I'm really happy about that. Uh, just incredible luck. So that is amazing. The rest of this, we did pick up at our local card shop. And on my way to the local card shop, the reason I don't have much footage in between there is because I went to my local mall because I got a phone call because something came in. Recently, I participated in a signing through Game Day Connections. Uh, their website will be in the description below where you guys can check out what other signings they have upcoming in the future. And I got a notification that my card had came back from the signing. So I'm really excited to show this to you guys. Uh, yes, you guys can see it's Justin Herbert and it does have the Beckett Witness stamp on it or sticker, which is really cool. But here it is, uh, Justin Herbert auto on card. The ink is perfect and it is on a rookie ticket uh, green variation. So that's really exciting. I'm really excited about this card. Uh, it's I The odds of pulling a Justin Herbert RPA or auto are incredibly rare. So I figured, hey, you know what? Why not just get it personally signed? So I did get that. And if you do this thing as well, uh, I would highly recommend uh, paying the additional $8 fee to get the Beckett Witness stamp. Because I went to my local car shop afterwards to show them and they even t and to pick all this up. And they even said that they wouldn't even take this card unless it had this. So if you're looking to flip, uh, if you're doing the signings, make sure you do get that Beckett stamp. Because that's the only reason they would list it or um, have really off, put an offer on it. So, But this one I'm keeping for a while. I'm really excited. I really like Justin Herbert, as do pretty much everyone in this hobby. So Herbert's going to go on the stand here, and we're going to get to our random packs. Now, again, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this is a community collection video, which means any card we pull in this video belongs to you guys, our card opening, pack opening community. So if you guys think we should hold a card, we'll hold. If you guys think we should sell, we'll sell. You guys can make those decisions in our Discord. Uh, the link is in the description as well. Please join our Discord. You can always just leave a comment on this video as well. Um, message me on Instagram, TikTok, whichever one uh, floats your boat. But uh, these are our current collections, our big, our big cards in our collection from our last video. This is only the... Uh, and this is all our cards from our collection so far. Our big cards that you guys have elected to hold. We've only done one video, but we do have a Justin Herbert prison base. We have an Xavier Tillman roll call. We have an RJ Barrett Noir. And then we have a Justin Herbert uh, rookie of the year. So these are all our cards that you guys have elected to hold. We'll see if they make it to the next 
community collection video that is again up to you guys completely so let me know in the discord and comment section and everything like that and i have talked enough i've showcased enough let's get that herbert in vision there ah nice that's going to bring us some good luck uh also along with the community we have already listed the cal hestis auto as well as so we have our first sale we have sold the kate bishop marvel card from 2020 marvel ages for five dollars so our first sale as a community woohoo um so yeah it's gonna be interesting to see how that progresses in the future uh the order of our rip today we're gonna to go unparalleled from 2018 can we get some lamar jackson baker mayfield i don't know uh donner two don russ uh, hobby packs from 2020 and two uh Don Russ retail packs from 2021 for basketball and a fat pack from the same year. Then we'll have we'll open up this Derek Jeter tops box. One in twelve has an auto, and it's not all Derek Jeter cards, so it's not one in twelve box has a Derek Jeter auto. Although you can pull Derek Jeter autos, um, it's just just really cool cards. I thought it was interesting, and it's not too expensive. And then lastly, we have our Prism hanger box that I got at retail. So if we whiff, I won't feel too bad. Um, so that is our collect community collection lineup. Let's go ahead and get the ball rolling with Unparalleled. Here we go. Exciting stuff. This is from a hobby pack. So hopefully we can pull something pretty cool. Um, do we get, uh, I don't know if that's an auto or anything in the back. We'll see. Oh, we got JJ Watt, Derek Henry. We got... Adam Zaruba, um, rookie. Then we got Justin Red. Got something. Got something there. Uh, we got you know, Su, Su. Can't pronounce his name. I apologize. Then we have SB Saquon Barkley. 49 out of 75. Wait, is this, an, is this a rookie? Ooh, Saquon Barkley RPA. Is this his rookie year? I think this is rookie year. Player worn. Yeah, this is his rookie year. Rookie jersey auto Saquon Barkley. Man, what a pull. What a hit, you guys. Uh, DJ Moore and Ronald Jones. Uh, that is a rookie, but De Saquon Barkley RPA. Man, what a start to this video. I have a really good feeling about today. I just had a good feeling and are probably our biggest hit in a long time on this video or in this channel. So this is really incredible. It's all sleeved up and protected. Um, probably the, I mean, without a doubt, the biggest pull we've had in this new series. So pretty cool. 49 out of 75 impact Saquon Barkley RPA. And that is our unparalleled high pack. Now moving on to Don Russ. Maybe we can pull something. If we can pull an auto and Don Russ too, that'd be pretty crazy. I don't think that will happen, but uh, we got something coming up though. We got red, Darnell Mooney, press proof. And we got Joe Burrow, Elite Series. It's pretty nice. It's that, that's not numbered, is it? No. I saw the gold borders, and for a second I thought, maybe. But no, just an Elite Series, Joe Burrow. But nice one. We're going to go ahead and put him on the board as well. We got the champ is here. We got Grant Delpit. Chris Jones. Um, That's not a rookie. So, really a couple of rookies in that pack. We've hit a Joe Burrow in every single Community Collections video. Granted, we've only had two. But so far, we're two for two on Joe Burrow. So I guess that's a streak we have to monitor from now on. We got pack number two of Don Russ Hobby. Let's see if we can pull anything crazy. Gotta flip all these. Then we got a canvas of DJ Dallas. We got another Elite Series, this time of RJ or KJ Hamler. And then the Emmett Smith. Then we got Jedrick Wills. And Christian Wilkins. Oh, I forgot to mention this earlier, but this impact of Sue 
is actually out of 75. So, two numbered hits so far. Obviously, the one that we care about at the moment, though, is Barkley. Moving on to basketball. This is definitely more my speed. I love football. Don't get me wrong. I love football. I love collecting football. But basketball, I don't have much pronunciation issues. Um, let's see here. Got can this be a rookie? I don't think this is. Oh, it is a rookie. Here we go. Onyeke Okongwu, green parallel. Parallel. We got Desmond Bain and Imali quickly. Emmanuel quickly. What am I saying? Not a bad rookie lineup there. Not bad at all. I'm actually going to put quickly on the board. As well as. Onyeke. I think they're pretty good guys. Um, quickly, obviously, is in the Rookie of the Year conversation. So, not too bad to get a base. Can we get Mel Lamello? That'd be cool. Looks like we are getting a Jersey series or something. Um, or not a Jersey series. Complete player, Jason Tatum. Our rookie, Danielle Aturo. And Jaden McDaniels. He's also not a bad guy either. He's a great investment guy if you're looking. Prices are a little bit lower, but he's definitely, he's got a lot of upside. Don Ross Fat Pack incoming. Can we get, my gosh, oh. Oh, pain. Pain, pain, pain. More pain. My gosh, just all the pain. All right. Oh, geez. JJ Reddick, new Mav. Let's go, Mavs. All the pain, you guys. All the pain. I just want that Lamello. Is that so much to ask for? It's my first time actually opening a fat pack for this season for Don Russ. So, I mean, definitely get a lot of cards. All right. Complete player, Zach Levine. RJ Barrett. Come on, be rookie. Yeah, dang it. Kevin Herter. Then we got Anthony Edwards. Okay, number one pick. Anthony Edwards, not too shabby. Put him on the board. Kenny Martin Jr., also not too bad. Elijah Hughes. Robert Woodward II. And Vernon Carey Jr. So can we talk about how the last two rookies are both teases? This should have been LaMelo and Halburn, but we at least did pull the number one pick. Anthony Edwards. And you know what? If that means we're getting Lamo in Prism, I'll take it. Now we got the Tops times Derek Jeter. Now this is a product I have no idea. I just saw it and I was like, oh, that looks nice. And Derek Jeter was my favorite baseball player for quite a bit of time. So I was like, that's kind of cool. It'd be cool to pull some nice Jeter cards. I don't really have a baseball collection. Uh, but Derek Jeter was the guy who initially got me watching baseball to begin with when I was a kid. So uh, I don't think... This is two. That's the first. I don't think this will be a bad rip. I think this is more for fun. Uh, we'll see if we can pull anything cool. If I obviously don't have much knowledge about baseball, so if you guys see something and I, you guys notice I pull something absolutely crazy, just let me know. Um, please tell me. Here we go. I think these are all. I are these all Yankee guys. I think. Maybe. So we got Marino Rivera. Truman. If he's going to be numbered. No. Uh, Thurman. Munson. All right. Lou Gehrig. Roger Clemens. Uh, Pittsburgh Pirates guy. Roberto Comenti. So not all Yankees. We got Derek Jeter championship performance. That's pretty cool. I wonder if this means we're not getting an auto. And is this numbered? No. We got Derek Jeter again. Dave Winfield. Andy Vitetti. And Andy Vitetti. Championship performances. Again, I probably butchered his name, so I apologize. But that's that back, so nothing crazy. Uh, a couple cool Derek Jeter cards. I'll put that in our. Highlights there, but nothing crazy that I know of. All right now for the main event, Panini Prism. 
So we started this video with a bang. So we gotta, we gotta end with a bang, right? That's the logic. Oh, this is my first look at Prism this season. So, jeez. And I can't even get the box open. All right, gosh, I am, I'm nervous. I'm glad I got this at retail, but I'm still nervous. All right, Matthew Deladova is our first guy. I know some people like to look at the back, just in case, and for seal pack purposes, but we like to rip things on this channel, so we're not gonna do that. Matthew Deladova, Malik Monk, Bojan Bogdanovich, Thomas Sadoransky, Patrick Beverly, Terrence Davis, Josh Kogi. All right, give me a rookie. No rookie, Clay Thompson, silver. Give me a rookie. Oh, Eric Bledsoe. Okay, that these orange ices better be rookies. Jaden McDonald's. Impact or inner emergent, then instant impact on Yiki Okongwu and RJ Hampton. Give me rookie Marcus Morris, the last guy on this planet I'd want to see. We got Cassis Winston and oh, stop teasing me with the Hornets. Oh, we did get one rookie, Lonnie Walker. All right, we got Peyton Pritchard. We've got Fred Van Viet. We got Kyrie Lewis Jr. And we got Markel Fultz. So that is our community collection. I don't think we hit, we got a pretty good rookie stack here and some highlights, but we got Kyrie Lewis, Peyton Pritchard, Cassius Winston, RJ Hampton, Jane McDonald's, Onyeki Onkongwu, Derek Jeter, Championship Performances, Derek Jeter, Robert Woodward II, Vernon Carey Jr., Kenyon Martin Jr., Elijah Hughes, Daniel Aturo, Jane McDaniels, Desmond Bain, Jedrick Will Wills, uh, KJ Hamler, DJ Dallas, Grant Def Delpit, uh, Darnell Mooney, this is a numbered, I believe. Uh, Ronald Jones the second seat or DJ Moore, and these aren't numbered. Um, Justin Reed, Adam Zorobu. Uh, that is a flight. Adam Zorobu. Zorobu. Then our on the board hits. We got number one pick Anthony Edwards, Onyeki Okongwu, Emmanuel Quickly. Elite Series, Joe Burrow. And our RPA, our biggest hit of the series so far, Saquon Barkley, RPA out of 75 impact. So this is good. I am going to look up the values and then we'll be back in just a second. All right, I checked the values of all these cards and based on the prices, these are the cards that are worth looking into the values and seeing if we should sell it now, hold, or whatever uh so we only have about four cards that are really worth determining at the moment everything else just kind of goes in a collection pile i have it very organized very safe not to worry um but this is what we got so far so first we have this joe burrow elite series rookies the value of this card is around like eight ten bucks uh so if you guys think we should sell we can sell if you guys want to hold we can hold uh for sure next we have anthony edwards this guy has been kind of fluctuating as well I saw as low as $4 and I saw as high as $15 for this rated rookie card. Uh, personally, I think with everything coming out now, with Prism especially, uh, and just more products like Contenders coming out soon and everything like that, this product's just going to go down lower. Uh, so right now it's around $4 to $15 if you guys want to sell. We could sell, I'll meet in the middle and say around $8 value. This one isn't worth that much. Onyeki Akongwu. 
Uh, but because of that, you may want to hold and you may want to see what kind of player he develops into. But as of right now, it's worth approximately five bucks, I would say. So, and then lastly, our big hit of the collection video, the Saquon Barkley, uh, RPA out of Unparalleled, Impact out of 75. This card hasn't really had a recent sale. The most recently, I think a couple weeks ago, the base version of this RPA sold for $85. So that's not numbered. It's not an impact. It's just a base. This one, of course, is a parallel. It is numbered. Um, but it is just one color RPA. So I would say I would go respectfully around 120 120 115 to 120 so that's the value we'll put it at we'll put it at 115 dollars so there you guys have it remember join the discord link be sure to like subscribe so you don't miss any other collection episodes and again join that discord link be part of the conversation if you don't want to join discord you can always leave a comment in this video or a video on tiktok or whichever way is best for you to let me know what you think i want you to be part of the collection just don't forget to hit that subscribe button and Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm super excited to do this with you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.